Yeah, we back, we back. Now, brothers, the other day I dropped a I dropped a funny video entitled The Six Types of Black Women That You're Gonna Meet in Major Cities, The Black Man's Manual. And in that video, I gave six common archetypes. I didn't name them all, obviously. Everybody's an individual, but I named the six common archetypes you're most likely to meet if you're a young brother, you know, living in a major city, a major market. This is the type of archetype and personalities that you're gonna meet on a frequent basis, right? So I actually didn't mention one. If you notice in the video, I had said the seven types on the video, but in the title, it was only six types. It was the seven type that I was gonna put, but I just didn't put it down. And that was the pro-black divester, the pro-black swirler. Now I know what you're thinking. How can you be a pro-black divester, a pro-black swirler? How would I describe the pro-black swirler, right? I've described this personality before. This is a type of woman by her rhetoric, you would think that she's the next coming of Coretta Scott King. She's the reincarnation of Asada Shakur. She's the reincarnation of Amy Garvey. She's the reincarnation of Betty Shabazz. You would think that by her rhetoric, oh man, this is a freedom fighter. Oh man, she fighting the power. Oh, black fist up in the air. You know what I mean? She fighting against the she fighting against the white man. You know what I mean? But come to find out that, you know, her actions, it don't match the words. You know, she talk a big game. She, she talk a good one. She talk a good one. But the actions never match the words, man. It, it never matched the words at all, man. So we're going to get into it, bro. We're going to get into it. Take a look up on the screen. This lady right here, she was responding to a tweet that said this. Every black man had a white girl phase. And this lady responded and she said this. If you did, don't let me find out. Basically saying, if you're a black man and you ever had a quote unquote white girl phase, she said, you better not let her ever find out. If you had a white girl phase, she better not ever find out. And as you can see, that tweet got 1.8 million views, over 5,000 retweets, over 20,000 likes. Man, man, obviously a large amount of the population obviously agrees with this sentiment. And I have no problem with it because listen, y'all already know me, man. Listen, it's black women only for me. It's black women only for your boy, man. So I don't take offense to these tweets, but I do take offense to hypocrisy. And that's what we are going to discuss on this video today. Now, let's take a look at some of the reactions on social media. This person said, don't let them find out that they were just like you. Now, they dug up into her catalog and they found her old tweets. And she said this, just, she said, Disney Channel had her crushing on the whites as a young girl. Oh my goodness. This girl right here talking about if you had a white girl phase, she better not ever find out. Come to find out, she grew up admiring the whites. <laughs> she grew up loving the whites. Oh my goodness. Let's good see you. This person said, She's solid now. Oh my goodness. This person said, every black woman who thinks like this worships the whites. It never fails. And I agree. I agree. In my, in, in my experience, in my experience, nine out of 10 black women who come around spitting that pro-black garbage. Yeah. At one point or another, they was loving on the whites. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just a scientific fact. Nine times out of 10. So I said, there's about you know a one out of ten chance that she was actually always of this mentality but nine times out of ten that shit is never organic you know nine times out of ten at one point or another she was loving on the whites man that's why i'm saying whenever a woman comes around talking all that pro-black bullshit i get very uh you know my spidey senses start tingling man i'm very i'm very skeptical about that shit man let's continue this lady also said please don't let me find out man take a look up on the screen they dug up into her catalog as well she said she gotta go get with the whites <laughs> yo boy yo boy let's good see you this person said hey for real so she also agrees that if you if you're a black man who ever had whoever had a white girl face she not rocking with you because as you know these women are so pro-black according to them right now take a look up on the screen i don't even gotta say nothing bro just take a look up on the screen all right moving on now this lady right here she's egregious right she responded to the tweet and she said respectfully so she also agrees if you're a black man who ever had a white girl face she is not rocking with you now brothers buckle up your seat belts let's go take a look up on the screen she said this i honestly think i'm more attracted to the whites than the blacks but the whites don't like me <laughs> oh my goodness she said my entire family thinks i'm gonna end up getting married to the whites maybe shit maybe oh my goodness good lord in heaven moving on this person said what's funny is women like this be the main ones that get ran through by the whites and then come back trying to bully black men after the whites don't want you man that's one thing i don't like right that's one thing i don't like because i did a video covering this before if y'all remember i did a video way back a similar video like this where it was a bunch of black women online talking about 
oh i love black men that love black women i love the intelligent pro-black black man that loves the black woman right and then we dug up a bunch of tweets from those same exact women talking about how much they love the whites keep in mind they said they love they said the type of black man they love the most was the black man that's conscious intelligent loves his women loves his community meanwhile we was digging up tweets from those same exact women talking about they got an undying passion and love for the whites oh my goodness and i'm telling you brothers if you're a black man like myself right if you're a black man like myself and you only deal with black women you gotta you gotta make sure you you gotta make sure you on your toes out here bro because a lot of women they gonna really try to like run run game on you bro like they gonna really try to play the role like i'm so pro black oh my god you're, you're such an amazing black man you're such an intelligent black man i yo they gonna really try to play the role they gonna try to play the role once they get around you so you have to understand what you're dealing with you gotta you gotta understand how to break down these mentalities break down yo i'm telling you because these women will try to run a whole con game on you once they find out that you, you're the type of black man that, oh, oh, he only deals with black women. Oh, he's intelligent. He's conscious. Oh, man, he he's highly. Oh, man, he's highly intellectual. They're going to really try to put on their facade as if they are so pro black intellectual. Oh, I'm so down for my people, bro. I'm telling you, I'm nine out of ten on bullshit. Nine out of ten. They run a game. But one out of ten, they're really genuine about that shit. But usually that one out of ten is probably already taken, already married. Trust me, brothers do not be playing around with that. Once you get a real genuine diamond brothers be locking that down brothers be locking that down but nine times out of ten that shit is that shit is fake that shit fraud that shit cubic zirconium that shit is the fucking chinese jewelry chinese corner store jewelry you know what i'm saying it's not the real diamond let's continue now this woman right here she just straight out just just she just comes out and admits it she just says out on the front street i'm a hypocrite but i love a black man that never had a white girl face so she just says it she says i love a black man that never had a white girl face she loves black men that only deal with black women such as myself but she just says openly listen i'm just a hypocrite so we don't even we don't even got to think too hard about this she is just coming out and saying it she loves black men that are conscious intelligent pro-black but she loves the whites now let's continue now this lady right here take a look up on the screen she says it's an immediate turnoff and she will not look at you the same if she finds out that you had a white girl face now take a look up on the screen All right, moving on. Now, this lady says she's going to ask every single time, and you better not lie to her if you ever had a white girl face. You heard what she said. Now, take a look up on the screen. She says she's probably going to marry the whites. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Now, take a look up on the screen. This lady says, I love me some educated black men. Now, brothers, you got to be careful. You got to be careful out here in these streets, man, because we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of predators out here in these streets. That's what I call these women, these swirlers, these undercover swirlers and undercover divesters. I call them predators because once they get around a black man that's intelligent, intellectual, you know, he knows how to dress. He got some money in his pocket, you know, a high level black man. They really try to play the role, bro. I'm telling you, they really try to play the role. And I'm passionate about this topic because I've run into these women on multiple occasions in real life, bro. In real life, they really try to play a role like I'm so pro-black. I've always been down for the black community since I was three years old. And I've never even looked at a white man ever in my life. And, bro, and then you come to find out, man, you just, you a lying, you a lying, swirling, divesting piece of trash. Now, anyways, take a look up on the screen. They dug into her old tweets and she said this. She said she's also going to marry the whites. <laughs> Brother, I'm telling you, you have to be careful for these undercover swirling, divesting predators that are trying to prey on unsuspecting black men. They're trying to prey on us, brothers. They're really trying to prey on unsuspecting black men and they're really trying to play a role. They're really trying to con us out here in these streets, man. You got to make sure you're not getting conned and scammed. Now, let's continue. This lady said this is worth leaving a man over so if she finds out that you had a white girl phase as a black man she says this is worth ending the relationship now take a look up on the screen she said they dug up into her old tweets she said the past two nights i've had some interesting dreams the first night i dreamed that i was dating a beautiful white who wasn't racist <laughs> yo bro listen they said if you had a white girl phase, it's worth terminating the entire relationship. But meanwhile, they're going to sleep and they dreaming about the whites. Yo, boy. Moving on. This lady said, if you're a black man who ever had a white girl phase, then you are not allowed to touch her. Now, take a look up on the screen. She said, they dug up into her old tweets. It's not even an old tweet. It's like last month. Oh, my God. I just fumbled the bag. This cute white complimented my hair and I smiled and walked away oh my goodness bro now we have to dissect that real quick she said that she fumbled the bag because she walked away from a white right from a white person 
why does she assume why does she automatically assume that that individual white man has money and power he could be a broke bum he could be he could be on unemployment he could be on disability he could be living at his mom's house he could be working at 7-eleven he could be working at the gas station he could be working at the smoke shop but she automatically assumes that this random white man has money and power and prestige to offer her simply because he has recessive genes now moving on now this lady said if you're a black man who ever had a white girl phase then you better not come her way because she would never want to lay with the man who's ever been with a white woman or if you got mixed kids listen that's what she said now take a look up on the screen they dug into her old tweets and she said she's gonna get her a white man or another because at least she'll get some respect oh my goodness here she said she'll most definitely get with a white oh my goodness here she said I would get on black women about messing with the whites but at this point we have no choice so you go ahead sister oh my goodness brothers I'm telling you I'm telling you especially if you live in a major city you're gonna come across this a lot you're gonna come across this a lot boy I'm telling you you're, you're gonna come across a bunch of fake fraudulent Harriet Tubman's a bunch of fake fraudulent Betty Shabazz's man I'm telling you I'm telling you they're gonna be talking about white supremacy oh man they're gonna be crying about their ancestors whole time they be laying down with the whites bro whole time they be laying down with the whites but they gonna come across you and try to play a facade put on a facade as if oh i'm so pro-black i've been down for the community since i was a baby man listen i'm telling you it's hard out here for a black man it's really hard out here for a black man if you're moving and shaking out here in these streets because it's just so much fraudulent behavior out here in these streets now let's continue now on this tweet she said for years the media has pushed the black man and the white woman down our throats now i think it's a black woman's turn now because i definitely see way more black women and white men commercials but i love it oh my goodness bro this is the same lady the same exact lady who said that if you are if you are a black man who ever had a white girl phase that you better not ever come her way because she would never ever want to lay down with you oh my goodness but yo I'm telling you, brother, if you live in a major city, this is going to be an archetype you come across a lot. And you just got to understand how to avoid it. Because like I said in the last video, nobody is ever going to come in the front door and admit this. Like a lady, if you meet a woman, the first day you meet her, the first day, she's not going to say, hey, my name is such and such. And I'm a, you know, I'm a pro-black divester and I talk black, but I sleep white. She's never going to say that. So you have to understand that the line of questioning to break her down and break down her mentality to understand what you're dealing with you have to indirectly get this information out of her because she's never going to admit it out in the open now let's continue now this lady said if you're a black man who ever had a white girl phase she said it's curtains for you which means it's over for you because you're weird <laughs> now take a look up on the screen she said i like whites but not just any whites and then she said i love a fine ass white and then she said give me a white with dreads in a country accent and then she said i'm gonna marry a white because black men make my blood pressure rise oh my goodness oh lord in heaven brother brother yo brothers you gotta be you gotta be on high alert you gotta be on high alert for these fraudulent harriet tubmans man you gotta you gotta be a high you gotta be on high alert for these fraudulent betty shabazzes for these fraudulent yo it's just it's so much out here in these streets man let's continue this lady said it's a major turn off now take a look up on the screen they dug up her old tweets this is obviously a personal issue for her because she has a bunch of tweets talking about this she said me personally i will not talk to a man who has dated whites or has a white baby moms she went on to say she will disown her son for bringing home a white woman she had another old tweet where she said i never had to worry about if a black man likes black women i have to find out if he likes white women because she don't mess with that oh my goodness now take a look up on the screen brothers i'm not even gonna read it just take a look up on the goddamn screen man all right moving on this lady said if you ever had a white girl phase it's curtains for you the show is over now take a look up on the screen i'm not even gonna read it my brothers just take a look up on the goddamn screen all right moving on this lady said that's the fastest way to turn her off if you ever had a white girl phase now she had an old tweet from last year where she said all my girls date in whites and they are happy maybe they're on to something oh my goodness brothers yo you have to be on high alert for the pro-black divester you see the regular divester you know the white ass kisser it is what it is with her you know i don't, I don't you know it is what it is. at least they're consistent but the one thing i hate the most more than anything 
is the pro-black divester, the pro-black swirler, the one that talks black, talks blackity black, black, black. But they jumping in bed with <laughs> But they jumping in bed with the Europeans. They arching that back for the Europeans. They getting bent over by the Europeans. Bro, it's something mentally wrong there, man. Like I'm telling you, if it was up to me, I would hit all these women with the goddamn Baker's Act. Now, I don't know if you live in Florida, but in Florida, they got something called the Baker's Act. Where if you see somebody, you know, clearly going through a mental uh, health episode, you can call the authorities and have them uh, have them brought to a facility. <laughs> Yo, I would have these women bakers acted. Now, let's continue. This lady said she doesn't trust black men who have white girlfriends. Now, take a look up on the screen. She went on to say it's really sad to see black men with white women. Now, she went on to say she needs to switch over to the whites. Because they'll fulfill her needs. Oh my god, yo. Yo, this is a comedy special. Yo, this is a comedy sketch. She went on to say she thinks she needs to get with the whites at this point. Oh my goodness. Keep in mind, it's the same one who says, It's so sad to see black men with white women. It's so sad. I don't trust black men with white girlfriends. But she said that she needs to get with the whites because the whites got what she needs. Oh my god, I'm telling you, the pro-black divester, you gotta be careful, brother. You gotta be careful because anybody who's able to operate in that level of hypocrisy, it's only it only means two things. Either they need to be put on some type of medication or they are genuinely they genuinely are just not trustworthy individuals. They are just slimy individuals and you cannot trust them or build anything with them because they can't even be consistent with their own moral standards now let's continue this lady said if you ever had a white girl face she's never going to look at you the same now take a look up on the screen she had an old tweet that said black men they really hate seeing a fine black woman with a white man she went on to say she had an old tweet that says she's seen this beautiful white and then she oh my goodness Oh my goodness, bro. This is the same lady that just said, if you as a black man get with a white girl, she never going to look at you the same. Now, take a look up on the screen. She had another old tweet that says, she thinks her soulmate is white. She had another old tweet that says, I never dated whites, but I'm not eliminating them. She had another old tweet that says, let me go find a white. She had another old tweet that says, I want a white. Brother, keep in mind, it's the same lady that says, if you as a black man ever been with a white woman ever, she's never going to look at you the same. And I'm telling you, women like this, they get around me because I've run into this. Woman, I've run into this type before. I've run into this archetype because I guess I fit the description of the type of black man they're looking for. But what they don't understand is they're not the type of black woman that I'm looking for. I mean, yeah, I got what you're looking for, but you don't got what I'm looking for. You know, I'm over here looking like a diamond. You know what I'm saying? You over here looking like, you know what I'm saying? Like some goddamn 99 cent store pawn, pawn shop jewelry and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like if I put you on my neck, my shit gonna turn green. Like you're not the real article. You're not the real thing. You're a fraudulent piece of jewelry. I want the real diamonds and you're not the real diamond. You're the fraudulent diamond. You're the motherfucking 599 diamond. You're the goddamn eBay jewelry. You're not the real diamond. You're not the real, you know what I'm saying? The real exclusive diamond you're not you're the goddamn ebay jewelry you know for 22 dollars on ebay and shit like that you're the goddamn amazon jewelry the cheap amazon jewelry like you're not the real thing man a lot of these pro-black you know women they're they not the real thing man they're the goddamn <laughs> we, we gonna start calling these women the, the amazon jewelry they're not the real jewelry they're the amazon jewelry let's continue this lady said if you're a black man who ever had a white girl face she's gonna bring it up every chance that she gets now take a look up on the screen they look up her old tweets. She said she got to date a white man or an Asian man before she dies. That's one of her. <laughs> yo, bro. She said that's one of her goals and objectives before she leaves the earth. She said she has to. She has to get in bed with a white man or an Asian man. Oh, my goodness. Brother, does she not know what Asian cultures and white cultures think about our people? Think about blacks. Does she not know? Does she not know? Like, and that's a crazy thing to have, like, as you're like dying wish. Like, before I die, I gotta get in bed with a, with a, with a white person or, or some shit like that. Like, before I die, like, I wanna make like a hundred million dollars. Before I die, I wanna drive a Rolls Royce. Before I die, you know, I wanna have a big house. Before I die, you know, it's a lot of things I wanna do before I die. Getting in bed with a, with a white woman or an Asian woman is not at the top of my bucket list. You know what I mean? But, you know. It is what it is. Keep in mind, this is the same lady that says, if you as a black man ever gets with a white woman, she's going to bring it up every chance she gets. But on her bucket list before she dies, she wants to date a white man. Now, let's continue. 
Now, this lady right here, this tweet doesn't have to do with the original topic, but I just want to highlight something that she said. Look at what she said that's highlighted. She said she is soon to be married to a top tier black man who only likes black women, right? She's, she's going to be married to a top tier. She said, I don't date down. I don't date thugs. I'm taking, I'm going to be married to a top tier black man who only likes black women, right? So she, she found a brother who probably has a similar mentality as me, like, like me, myself. I only deal with black women for a variety of reasons that I mentioned in previous videos. But now take a look up on the screen, brothers. She had an old tweet that said this white Republicans love black women. I'm not surprised that George Bush finds Michelle at every event. She says she's dealt with several white men and her inbox is full of them. So this is what top tier black men have to marry out here in the street. I really feel bad for that brother. And I've done videos on this in the past. If you know, I did a video, a classy video that was called a pro black, a black man marries a pro black divester or a pro black divester gets married to a black man. And I did a video on another woman who also ended up marrying you know a black man things like that i think i've done multiple videos on topics like these i've actually done multiple videos in the past where i talked about women who used to run around chasing after the whites get a bent over by the whites you know dealing with the whites and then when it was time to get married and start a family they ended up finding a a intelligent conscious black man and having a black family and i really feel bad for them brothers because i don't think those brothers really did their due diligence i don't think so i think those brothers kind of fell victim to the con game because I've had that similar con game ran on me, meaning that you meet a woman and she talks a good game. She talks that pro black, black power bullshit. And you as a black man, because it's so rare, you as a black man, it's so rare to hear certain rhetoric coming from women. You know, you get, you know, they, they win you over with that bullshit. You know what I mean? They, they steal your heart with that bullshit. But me, I ran into so many frauds that, nah, that shit don't work on me. It worked on me one time. It worked on me one time, but it don't work on me no more, man. It don't work on me no more. These women got a habit, you know, kissing the white man's ass and then now when they want to get married they say i want a black man that only loves black women i want an intelligent black man that's down for the black community you know a real black man ready to be a father for my children things like that and i'm just like man those type of black men they don't deserve that shit bro like that type of black man like i said he's a diamond that type of black man he's a diamond you know what i mean he's a goddamn hundred thousand dollar watch right he's like fresh out the jeweler hundred thousand dollar watch and you are not that. You are not his counterpart. You are not the equivalent to the hundred thousand dollar jewelry. You are the goddamn middle of the mall kiosk jewelry. You are the Amazon jewelry. You are the eBay jewelry. You the goddamn uh, Chinese corner store in the middle of Canal Street jewelry. So a black man that is a diamond, he cannot pair himself up and start a family with the Canal Street, you know, bullshit jewelry. He has to get a woman who's e his equivalent. He has to get the equivalent of the diamond. He has to get the equivalent of the jewelry. And what we have is we have a lot of Canal Street corner store, you know, Chinese food jewelry, Chinese store, you know what I'm saying? Chinese food jewelry trying to pass themselves off as real diamonds, as real black diamonds. And you're not the real black diamond. You are the goddamn, you know, the brown, you know, neck turning green, you know, pawn shop jewelry that costs, you know, $19.15. You are not the hundred thousand dollar, you know, rare exclusive jewelry. You are not the exclusive work of art. You are a fraud. You are a fake. You are not the real article. And it is what it is. And my brothers, listen, brothers, you got to be on. You got to be on top of your game. You got to be on top of your game, man. You know, I put out these videos because I know, I know, in my channel, there's a lot of brothers like me who have a similar mentality as me. And I don't want you to fall victim because you might be like me. You only deal with black women, but you cannot fall victim to that, bro. Do not, do not let them run game on you, bro. Do not let them run game on you. Listen. It's some real diamonds out here. It's some real diamonds out here. But the streets is flooded with the fake Chinese food, corner store, Canal Street, middle of the mall, kiosk, eBay on sale raffle, eBay, you know what I'm saying? Amazon jewelry for sale on the discount clearance rack. It's a lot of that fake jewelry going around. So do not get do not get conned and swindled by the fake jewelry. Now, anyways, man, it's your boy Nefakari that's the lane back in the billet. Yes indeed, cash up up on the screen, and I'm gone. Peace. Reincarnated, I'm back in original fashion I left on a horse and came back in that ass And I left with abundance and came back to famine We used to be pyramids, now we be rapping Look how the mighty have fallen Used to be running, now we be walking When you be cooning, that's when they applauded Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter Gotta come up in this shit, they stuck in the mix Really, my heart, it be breaking That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business Pass it down in generations Talking about money and power and building a nation That's the definition
deadly combination. Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genders, falsifying information. No, they got malice intentions. Step in a room and I'm feeling attention. Enemy watching, he blocking my vision. Pay for the check, cause I need my redemption. Building my kingdom, I need it protected. Ready for war like a young Monte Congo. Never decided the team is the motto. Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles. Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato. I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain and make it ambition. I'm blessed by the guys, but I ain't religious. I came for the power, they came for the bitch. They making no hour with it, wage. I got business. This shit is an art, and they can never be taught. Selling my soul, I can never be bought. Play with my money, I see you ain't caught. Run to the check and I do it for sport. Babylon falling, I go to the source. Packing my luggage and go overseas. Shorty be with me and she so at least. Shorty be chugged and I'm calling her Hershey. Secret intelligence probably gonna murder me. Don't fuck with brands, cause nigga, I'm Haitian. Say the wrong shit and you're smacking their faces.